Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be daily tarot reading for June 27th, excuse me, 2018. So let's see what we got for, for that particular day. Now the first card that shows up the topic of the day or what the day is going to be about, that will be the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> then the second card is uh, the negative approach toward the day or the negativity of that particular day. We do have the King of Swords. Now the next card shows up the positivity of the day. I will just move it a little bit to the right here. So <clears throat> the third card which shows up the positivity of the day or the correct approach toward the situation, we do have the Eight of Cups. And last card points up the long-term benefit in case we avoid the King of Swords and act as Eight of Cups is going to bring us that will be the Page of Swords. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's start with the topic first. Now we do have the Seven of Swords. Uh, this card is a very double-edged card. Now, from the negative point of view, the card does uh, prerequisites. Um, lies and uh, surreptitious activities and also in some cases um, <clears throat> conspiracy. So that card, could, the topic of the day could be related to that you have been lied about something or uh, a certain information is hidden from you, you know, uh, and also someone is trying to pull the hidden strings behind your back and I think that this is the majority of the topic here uh, because we do have the king, the king of swords in a negative position or the the approach that one should not take and that is a person which we either have to break through from or which we either should not follow. So what happens here is that <clears throat> either we have been lied in the past and now we are about to discover that in that particular day or in that particular day this person here it could not it may not be only a male you know it could be as well a female we will approach us with either some fraudulent statements or uh, deceiving information. <clears throat> and uh, uh, it will be a very, uh, how can I place it, it will be way too good to be true of what these people are telling us. It will be like a celluloid statement, you know. And this is meant for us to bite it and uh, toward what end that is uncovered in this reading. I mean, this is all about this, the surreptitious intentions of this person. But what I can tell you is that definitely they will want to attract you to work for their agenda. And as, I'm, and as we're talking about that, we go to the positive <clears throat> interpretation of the Seven of Swords or what positive influence that card could have in our day is that we can break free here. I mean, I mean we can detach from this person agendas in case we, we did discover that we have been lied. It's because, guys, that person could um, twist truths. That person could present fictions as facts. A, very, a sweet talker and someone who um, is capable, you know, to change opinions of the people. That he, he is very good talker, and that's why you you need to kind of like uh, you know separate the truth from um, <clears throat> from the fiction. And this could happen very easily, you know. Instead of being deceived by someone else's statements, every time you hear something during that day, uh, align it or kind of. Uh, check it against what you know to be true because what you know right now to be true I mean that it is a fact it is exactly what will help you to separate the fiction from the facts and um, <clears throat> when it comes to that I mean uh, when, if it comes to detachment during that particular day uh, the, it won't go without any conflicts alright but in these conflicts you can be uh, you can be victorious if you are not afraid to storm the situation so that leads us to the next card here, Eight of Cups in a positive way. What is Eight of Cups in a positive way? During that day, instead of being, uh, instead of being enthralled by false statements, now you have to look around, or we in general have to look around and see what we need to change in our lives. Uh, let's say that this will be a day where we are going to recognize when people are selling us hopes. All right, um, uh, with nothing material in return. Um, <clears throat> 
that could be a false proposition for a job or it could be that someone is um, isn't trolling you to be around them or around her uh, with a promise of being in a relationship with you in one day a uh, one day further into the future but that future never comes to to bear etc etc these kind of stuff now that particular day we have to focus on what we already have into our table I recognize those uh, those kind of enterprises and activities into our lives which are uh, set on how because because of that uh, promise here we uh, with the eight of cups it does look like that we are over overlooking something into uh, into our life that we are about to lose all right and again with uh, with an, an example that could be a person which is promising you a very good position but you have to meet a certain criteria that no one can and instead of you uh, paying attention or kind of like giving attention to your um uh, to your marriage and to your relationship you're fooling you're uh, you're throwing all of your resources as time and money into that promise and you are neglecting you know uh, your um your current relationship or it could be that someone wants to be uh, with you in a relationship but instead you are chasing the celluloid statements of someone else because that person could all is also appearing with a very enthralling I mean usually athletic they are handsome and they have that physical look that very uh, little uh, male or a female could resist and that is one thing that you need to keep in mind that these people they usually are very hard to connect emotionally with because they don't follow emotional uh, patterns here there are it's all about um, it's all it's all about sex and uh, maintaining power over people as well so you have to be very um, very aware of you know um, <clears throat> is what is this promised to you or is what it is taught to you can be achieved and what the other side is doing to kind of like ease your doubts all right so <clears throat> with the eight of cups yeah we can we can reflect uh, the things which are slipping through our fingers because you know we are putting our devotions devotion into a uh, in a wrong direction and that card also points that by doing uh, by us doing so it is very likely that we are going to set back on track with our true true path in life or in other words you know redeem ourselves from um, deception and from a lie and what happens at the end there uh, as soon as we do that you know as soon as we redeem ourselves from that deception and lie we do have the page of swords first of all uh, we are going to learn a very valuable lesson and we are not going to give our trust that easily any longer page of swords also is a card in in a positive way saying that um, you are going to avoid a lot of arguments and a lot of conflicts and fights further into the future so i think that this is the last train that we could catch in order to uh, kind of avoid those those kind of conflicts based on a false statements or statements of somebody else's and the page of swords <clears throat> also speak that we may obtain a, a very powerful knowledge from a, a different direction than the direction this person is uh, kind of offering us so in other words it does look like that at that particular day we are either going to recognize that we have been de um, deviated from um, <clears throat> or divorced from our true path or uh, someone will try to divorce us from our true path and in any case as i said we need to be very prone and keen to recognize what can be done and what can be true against those celluloid statements and promises so with that being said guys um this was the daily reading for June 27, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to, to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.